Hello, how are you? Welcome to CUO, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans. Today, the African region is the least affected by coronavirus, COVID-19. And we are grateful for this. And we stand in solidarity with Europe, countries in Europe that are most affected currently, and the rest of the world. We are, ex we are excited that China has been able to restrain the spread of coronavirus across China. And last week, you know, closed its um, last temporary shelter, temporary hospital for, for, uh, for coronavirus patients. But I am concerned, and like other Africans are concerned, that given the major way coronavirus spread is being contained, which is through general lockdown and quarantine, in, this may be a challenge for many African countries, many countries in Africa, S given the way African societies are organized. Africans live close together. The way the economy is organized as well, many Africans in their livelihoods do not have pensions, do not have unemployment insurance. So some of the mechanisms that will be used to address the impact, economic impact of generalized overall lockdown may not work in Africa. This may work in Europe, so overall lockdown and quarantine may not work in Africa. India has just imposed a general lockdown in India where over 90% of its population go out for daily living, have no pension as well. And the poor in India have started saying they may die from hunger even if the spread of coronavirus is prevented. You know? So even the quarantine as a measure to curtail the spread of coronavirus is posing a more serious and urgent humanitarian you know, situation crisis for India's poor, and this will be the same for many countries in Africa. If a general lockdown, overall quarantine is imposed. So what do we need? We need to be strategic in terms of what we call for. Two recent developments in terms of the supply, you know, of, of, of a donation of masks is critical. We need masks. We need especially testing kits. We need to know who to isolate. We need to, be, we need to target more who to isolate and how to isolate vulnerable population or those affected. We need to know who is affected as soon as possible and isolate them. Given the way Africa's societies are organized, we live close together. We live close together. Quarantine, overall general quarantine will not work. Having a generalized overall lockdown requires additional actions. One, food needs to be supplied. Two, you know, medical supplies need to, to happen, you know. Can we do that in many countries in Africa? Would we be able to isolate? And if you isolate people where well, you have four living in a room, <laughs> how would that work? Would, would they be isolated together? Would you be able to isolate one and leave the other? The way our societies are organized, we need to put an effort on being strategic on what will work. And that's where we're grateful to Chinese billionaire Jack Ma for the donation of testing kits to Rwanda and Ethiopia recently. We are also very grateful for Ethiopia's initiative to the G20 asking for Africa's debt to be in for debt relief for African countries, at least for the interest not to not be paid, for the interest not to be to be paid. Ethiopia has requested for about 152 billion, you know, through the World Bank support for emergency action to curtail the spread of coronavirus, to address its impact in Africa. And these are some strategic measures we should be looking at right now. Being strategic, adapting the whole quarantine process and lockdown, you know, to suit the way our economies are organized, the way our societies are organized it will be more effective. We're grateful that we are the least, Africa is, the African region is the least affected compared to places like to North America and Europe. But we're, we need to keep it that way through being strategic in how we respond 
now. We need to take action and not fold our hands. We need to act more assertively to reduce the spread of coronavirus in Africa, although it's the least, one of the least affected regions. We need to act fast and we need to adapt the response mechanism to suit the continent so that it doesn't spread. So that the, 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 the process through which we reduce the spread of coronavirus will not create all the significant humanitarian needs in the continent. Thank you.